long? Yeah. How was jail? A party. A real party. How long you been out? Hundred years. many unsolved cases dating back to the 20s. Murder was organized then. It was big business. Well, there were more gangsters than there were police to hold them down. In many cases, we had a pretty good idea who committed the murders, but we couldn't prove it. However, most of them got what was coming to them sooner or later, one way or another. This one. Jane Cooper. Janie the Jinx, they called her. She was born at just the right time and in just the right breeding ground to wind up the way she did. The New York slums, prohibition, the rackets, the 20s. My name is Barney Roditsky, gangster squad, police department, city of New York. What a rack. Ain't you staying here, Janie? You can't go away and leave your mother now after I've been waiting all this time. Oh, stop with the moaning, because I made up my mind. I had a lot of time to think about it. Two years and eight stinking months to think about it. And your little girl's all through being made a chump. Janie, you wouldn't go away without leaving me some money. I gotta have money to eat. I got a bulletin for you, Ma. They don't pay your salary in the can. You got money. Or you wouldn't be walking out of here. Where are you gonna sleep if you ain't got money? No, I don't know, and who cares? All I know is I've been doing everything that's all wrong. I seen those dames in jail. The ones that went with the big guys and the kind of treatment they got. And I come back, and where am I? Right back where I started. No clothes, no loot. Nothing but a punk waiting for me. But things are going to be different from now on. Starting with getting out of this thump. Jamie, you got enough on you for a bottle. Leave me enough for a bottle, huh? How'd you make it while I was gone, Ma? Hello, Janie. I've been waiting for you. The toad. The guy's waiting for me, and it's got to be the toad. Huh. I should have stayed in jail. I got a swell car out there. Can I give you a lift? I knew you was getting out today. I was the only one interested enough to find out. The only one waiting for you. You know why. Because you've been stuck with me for years. If I fell into the East River, you'd be waiting for me down at the bottom. You want to give me a lift over to Mike's? You're still over in that dump on Delancey Street, you know. And where are you, at the Waldorf, champ? Riverside. Small, but a nice joint. Is that your car, too? Nah. Belongs to Nick Roma. I was doing a job for him. I was going down to the opening of a new speak over on Suffolk. Nice, classy joint. Only the big shots will come. 
But you got it still for handsome Mike, don't you? He's still on the hop, you know. You've been out of touch, redhead. The pretty boy didn't move an inch since you saw him last. Since you took that rap for the two-bit heist he engineered. Me now, I'm moving up. You sure you want to go to Mike's? You're going to wisen up. Chink Sherman and his dame. Boy, he sure takes good care of her, don't he? It's always been there for the asking, kid. He just didn't use your brains. <laughs> oh, Penny, I don't like you told me. I dropped the piece. I want you to meet my dog, Danny. Name's Jane Cooper. This here's Danny Stern. Pleased to make your acquaintance. <laughs> the little wart. Cut that stuff around here. He's Roma's number one. So what? Who else is here? Oh, that there's Gura over there, see? With the brunette in red. Who's he? Good looking one. <laughs> that was I I... That's Nick Roma. <laughs> I thought I'd die. <laughs> you still got eyes for the pretty boys, don't you? But don't get no ideas. He goes for the classy stuff. Classy? I know the dame he's with. Kitty Morgan. <laughs> the only thing classy about her is her clothes. Run me through a beauty joint, put some decent rags on me, and I'd knock their eyes out. I could cut her in a hundred different ways. You be a good girl, maybe I'll fix you up. <laughs> maybe, huh? Well, nobody's gonna talk that way to Janie Cooper again. Like you say, I ain't been smart. Okay, baby. Throw it with me, huh? It's a deal. That's better. But what about Mike? I don't want him pushing me around when he gets wind of this. I'll take care of the handsome man. Yeah, Barney. His name's Michael Hanley, age 27, occupation. Occupation, punk. Yeah, I know the kid. Delancey Street Special, handsome Mike Davis to call him. He makes a nice clean corpse, hmm? Yeah. Notify all concerned, will you, Phil? Right, Barney. Turn up that blast, can't you? Drive a guy daffy. Where you going? Mind your business. Well, leave me some dough. You've had me cooped up in this dump for over a week. Yeah. Seems crowded after all the space you had in a can. Drop dead! Who is it? How the devil should I know? Open the door and find out. I want to talk to Jane Cooper? She ain't here, Odinsky. Oh. Jenny, you're letting me a merry chase. Ain't that tough now, copper? When did you see Mike Hanley last? There's no law saying I gotta tell you nothing. But I'll give you one for free. I ain't seen him since I was sent up. You were his girl. Used to be. Now you give me one for free, copper. What did Mike do? He got murdered. That's what he did. did it? We don't know yet. But we'll find out. Who 
ask you to kill him? You did. There's nothing you can do with the info, redhead. You double-cross me, and I'll cut you to ribbons. Toad. What do you want with a punk like that? Let me set you up right. You know I want to. But I don't dare. He'd kill me. Time finding me, Copper? No, I just hadn't figured on you working your way up so fast, so. What do you want, Roditsky? You're having a lot of bum luck with your boyfriends, aren't you, Jenny? You mean the hit and run that got the toad Saturday? Yeah, I heard about that, Copper. Tough break. Did they ever find the car? I bet you got ten witnesses to prove you were in six different places at the time, huh? It was last Saturday, wasn't it? Yeah, it was Saturday. That was the night that Lefty and I had dinner with some friends over on Blake Avenue. You want their names so you can check it out, Copper? <laughs> now, it's a funny thing, though, isn't it? Hmm? The night you started out with the toad, handsome Mike gets killed. And you take up with Lefty here, the toad gets it. Spooky, ain't it? Yeah, a real kiss of death girl, that's you, hmm? A regular jinx. Tell me who you got your eye out for next. Just in case I have to get in touch with you in a hurry, you know, in case Lefty here should fall off the Williamsburg Bridge some night, hmm? Who's next? Nick Romer or or maybe you're going right up to Lefty himself. Get out of here, copy. Go on, blow. You got no warrant. You know, you're doing a better job of cleaning out those punks than the police department. Hey, get up there with the big shots, will you, Janie, huh? There's a lot of them up there I'd like to see made with an accident. So you had the toad knock off a guy for you, huh? I didn't know nothing about that. Forget it. But this kid was just steaming you up. You gonna start listening to what the cops say? Did the toad hit him? I don't know who got him, honey. And I don't know why he got it. Let's just say that it was bad luck. Who's playing tonight? Gura, Pretty Amberg, Danny Stone, Nick Roma. Don't let me catch you looking at Roma. I might get nervous. What are you waiting around for? We don't need no dames at a poker game. I was just being nice, honey. Just doing the hostessing, that's all. No, you do just that. Just bring in the stuff and then get out. Well, you sure are dressed. I should have had the game at my place. Go on, put on something decent. I'm gonna want to talk to you after the game. I want to know more about the guy that got it before the toad. I don't think two C's are too much to ask. I call. How about you, Danny? I need a drink of water. 
Hmm? I'm out. You've been high signing me all night. Now, what do you want? Please, I can't talk now. And bust out of the game. Meet me at the elevator. What are you up to? Danny, I'm taking an awful chance. It's very important. Hey, Danny, you want to be dealt in or not? Since when did you start drinking water? They still playing? Yeah, and I had to make up a cock and bull to break for a half hour. So get to the point, redhead. I don't like this setup. Lefty's gonna muscle in on you and Nick. Take over the whole territory. He was gonna catch you both tonight, except Nick didn't show. Hell now. Hell now. Ain't that interesting? How come you tell me? You're hurting me, Danny. I just don't like double crosses, that's why. I got a hunch, redhead. And that hunch says you're lying. What do you think about that? I thought you were smarter than that. Would I go risking my neck, neck if it weren't true? Right now, Lefty could be calling for something and find me missing. Danny. Danny, you really hurt me. You'd do pretty good if Lefty took over, wouldn't you? Yeah. But I don't go for Lefty. Roma? I go for guys like you. How do I know you ain't using me to get next to Roma? Lefty's death was tagged accidental. Late that night, he fell into an open elevator shaft in his Manhattan hotel. And the underworld put a tag on Jane Cooper. They started calling her Jane the Jinx. Four months later, I got a call from her wanting her to meet me in a beauty parlor downtown. She became Danny Stone's mall right after Lefty got it. She was in the home stretch. Three men down and one to go to get to Nick Roma. Because in her book, Nick was number one. She was very efficient. She told me to ask for my wife. Oh, what's on your mind, Jinx? And it better be good. I'm a long way off my beat. Danny's picking up a load of white stuff tonight, personally. Why are you telling me? Let's just say that he bores me. But I don't want him killed. Well, now that's real touching, Jinx. There's a twist for you. You usually like him to wind up in the morgue when you're through with him. I've had enough of that Jinx business. Why don't you steam up Roma to get rid of Danny for you, huh? That's the way you got rid of all the others, isn't it? 103rd and Broadway. Midnight.
Danny? Danny, is that you? Why, Nicky? What is it? Where does Danny keep his records? His customers, his collections, where are his papers? Well, don't lie there, bug-eyed baby, or we'll all go up on a narcotics wrap. Well, he keeps them all in room 204 at the Pitkin Hotel. It was my idea. Smart girl. Tell me something, smart girl. Who tipped the cops off to Danny? Tipped? Why, Nicky, I... It couldn't have been you, huh, baby? I don't know anything about Danny's business, Nicky. I didn't even know that he was going out tonight, till he left. If you don't believe me, why don't you ask Danny? Danny stopped a slug. Nobody's gonna ask him anything again. Take me with you. Oh, no, not me, baby. You're jinxed. That's just a silly superstition. You're gonna let yourself get bugged by that, are you? Every guy you went out with got it. So all right, I'm bugged. Take it, you'll need it. Why, what's that for? Because I gotta lay down the law. That you're off limits to my outfit. I can't afford to lose no more guys on a deal like this. I'm real sorry, baby. could have gone for you. Nikki! Nikki, don't do this to me! Nikki, you don't know what I've been through! Nobody knows. She'd had it, and she knew it. Nobody knows. From then on, there was just one way to go, and she went the route. Nick Roma laid down the law, all right. Nobody in this mob would touch Jinx Cooper. And that was good enough for Lepke, Dutch Schultz, all of them. She took one dizzy slide and ended up right back where she came from. We finally caught up with Nick Roma four years later. We had enough to send him up for life. But a few witnesses would have made the state's job easier. So I looked up Jane Cooper. Ditsky, remember me? I bet you had a tough time finding me this time, Cop. No. No, I knew just where to look. Did the cops ever find Nick Roma? Catch up with everybody. Sooner or later. Everybody but me. Everybody but me. Yeah, Reverend. Everybody but you. <laughs> <laughs> 